Hello, it is Friday, November 11th, 2011 at 12.43 p.m. Central Standard Time. I wanted to show you something that's happening in Arizona that's quite odd. Um, what we're looking at is Flagstaff Doppler radar right here in the center. And we have this these clouds moving through. And for some reason, they're not going over the radar. Oh, they seem to be going around it. It's right there at the end. You can see it leaves quite a hole. Let me get a reading on the time. The loop goes from 1439 through 1824 UTC time, November 11th, 2011. When I go look at the... Um, this is where I accessed the loop we were just looking at. But over here on the Nexrad radar we're looking at the regional products. You can see it's forming it's forming a ring with a hole in the middle is what it's doing. Someone told me that the blue was dry air, but that can't be the case if all this moisture is going through. Um, let me get you a time on this loop too. Make let it go through a minute. It goes through 1826 and it starts at 1541. Here's a shot of the clouds, the visible satellite in the area. And it goes from 1300 UTC through 1800. I've got these blanked out because it's night. And also I wanted to show you that when I advance a frame right here at 1330 we get these little white dots all across the radar and Flagstaff is kind of right up right up in there right near that same line where those show up and I'll just kind of click through here and you can see that the place is covered with clouds so the blue can't be lack of moisture unless there's no there can't be clouds that are lack of moisture. Actually, this is interesting, this hole right here. That's at 1530. Actually, it's moving through here. You can see it. Let's go back to the other one and see what happens at 1530. Oh, did I shut it? We'll have to open it again. Yeah, it's not, I'm not seeing anything. It was more like over in here, I'm thinking, well, here's the shape of Arizona. So anyway, let's go back to what we were doing. And we can see it. And you can see it's something that's coming up from down in here, the system. I also went and looked at the hemispheric products right here. And yesterday I did a video on Hawaii, and part of that is still showing up on this loop. This is infrared, and this is where the little things were shot out. And also, this is where that, what looked like, appeared to be an explosion happened. And it looks like it's that air that's getting carried. May I see there's this is going this way and this is going this way. It definitely plays into it. Also I want to show you this bumpy thing. I'm not sure what these are for, why they block these out. Maybe they don't have a full image. But these ragged cuts are something different. And what happens here is, let's click through. We get a big cutout. I mean, 
I had it before where I was seeing like there were like holes in the in the radar, just black blots. It looks like someone shot a hole here and then here and in up by Greenland and the Hudson Bay up here. And after I talked about it, they actually cut it out like this so you couldn't see it anymore because it was happening. Well, actually, 1015 was one of the times that it was happening. It was more in the visible radar, but it was also happening on the infrared. But in any case, this is just, I mean, there, there's hardly anything left. And then it comes back the next frame. So why why that's happening, I don't know. Whether it's to block information or, I don't know. This one up here makes sense because it's around the North Pole. But sometimes that's this size and sometimes it grows to this size. One area of interest is up here in the, on the Hudson Bay, right down below this second little indent. <laughs> Can you see? I'll zoom in. I'm getting off track here. But there's a HARP facility here, and it, it said it on the HARP page, it's had, and it just called it a HARP facility. But you've, it's hard to find any radars that you can see anything on that include that area. Um, I did find it for a while, but then they did that bigger cutout, and I lost it. So, And I'm off track. Let's get back to what we were talking about. I'm sorry. Um, let's start it through, and let's go forward. So anyway, um, there you have it. Clouds that form a hole over the Doppler radar. And and these are in blues down in here. That has a significance. And these are up in the, I call it hot, but people don't like that, but the, the upper range. <laughs> so God bless you and have a good day. Stay safe out there.